Hello, my name's Carl, and in this program we're going to be making a dressing table mirror. And I'm going to be showing you how I went from this to this. Now, it didn't go to plan, and there are several mistakes along the way, and uh, all of that's coming up. In this project, we'll be making a contemporary frameless dressing table mirror in oak. And I start by swapping out the standard blade for the Evolution fine tooth woodworking blade. It cuts through oak like butter and the finish is way cleaner. I rip the board to width on the table saw and mark out and then make the cross cuts on the mitre saw. Now the original design included little sections for jewellery and makeup brushes and the bottoms of which are going to be painted. So the bottom board is masked off where the glue areas are and then painted pink. All the paint in this project is by Rust-Oleum and it's in the chalk paint range. I make a printed scale pattern which is then glued onto the underside of the whiteboard. Now the plan calls for sections to be cut by the jigsaw and first a few access holes. Stop the filming. Um, things aren't going too well and I'm really not happy with how things are progressing and I'm absolutely certain that I'm not going to get the quality of the finish that I'm actually looking for in this project uh, with the jigsaw that I have. It is frankly terrible and um, despite uh, reverting to using a force and a bit to hog out some of the material to make cutting easier and uh, even going as far as is, 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 is trying to sort of uh, complete the project with a router and you're just kind of, kind of flipping the project a bit um, I'm going to give up with this approach now I've had a bit of a think um, whilst I've been sort of angrily pacing around the workshop and I think I have a way of rescuing the project but first I'm going to remove the template and get started with, with trying to rescue this project wish me luck I've decided to lose the sections from the design and I salvage the back of what will be the topmost board on the bandsaw. A little more paint as the whole of this front section now will be seen. Now to glue the two boards together. Here I'm marking out the centres for round recesses which will be for tea light candles, which I'll drill with force a bit on the drill press. Oh dear. It's at this point I make the biggest mistake of the project. The groove I'm cutting is to hold the mirror. I've angled the blade to 20 degrees, but I'm running the workpiece through the saw the wrong way round. The slot is now angled forwards instead of backwards. 
With the workpiece the right way around, I run it through the saw again, which frees up a small strip from the topmost board. I mark up where the strip needs to be fixed to support the mirror and then use three screws to hold it in place. This now puts me back on track. Some light sanding to clean up the sides and make the edges easier on the hands. And finally I apply some finish. Now this is my own clear oil and wax finish which is a mix of mineral oil, mineral spirit and about 10% paraffin wax, something I've used for years and may become a future video. Anyway, you apply it with a cloth and wipe away the excess. Apply it to the Rust-Oleum, it gives a satin finish and just gives the chalk paint a little bit more protection. A few little felt feet neatly hide the screw heads. There we have it, um, a dressing table mirror project. Now I have to say, it's not gone according to plan. This is a very different design to the one I had in mind. And um, the mistake on the table saw in cutting the groove the wrong way was a schoolboy error. But I guess really you, uh, you can judge the quality of a maker by how he manages to get out of his mistakes. Anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed this project. There will be more dressing table projects uh, similar to this in the coming weeks. And, um, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheerio.